Hey guys, Brandon here. I am uh, carefully driving around on a um, undivided street. Um, I recently got an update uh, on the Tesla software which actually rolled back a restriction to autopilot and namely uh, autopilot was uh, restricted on undivided roads such as this uh, to the speed limit whereas previously you could um, uh, set it above the speed limit up to five miles per hour over uh, which is probably a controversial issue but the bottom line is uh, the flow of traffic is um, such on some streets that uh, autopilot is useless um, because you would be obstructing the flow of traffic um, if you set your speed to that level so in essence it was um, making uh, autopilot was uh, much less useful even on streets that's um, safe to use with supervision uh, so anyway Tesla has um, rolled that back in this uh, most recent small update so um, I'm going to show you so, so the speed limit here is uh, 30 and you can see that I'm actually able to set it to uh, 5 above. If I try to go higher than that, it says it's limited to 30. What's interesting is, um, so that's 5 above, and in the settings, there's an area where you can set uh, how high you want it to automatically go. So if I decrease that, um, I'm going to decrease that to 3. So now it's automatically set to, uh, here, let me uh, reset that. There, so now it's automatically set to go three above. And if I try to go above that, it'll say it's restricted to 28. So uh, the software will re restrict you to a max of whatever your preset max is, which is interesting. That's new. That didn't used to be that way as far as I know. Um, what I'm not sure of is if this restriction is different, um, whether you have uh, a lead car or not. Because um, uh, Musk, had, in response to a complaint about this, Musk had said they were gonna alter this so that if you had a lead car, um, you would not have these restrictions. Uh, so I don't have a lead car now, so I think I'll try that as soon as the light is green. Here's something I didn't know in the meantime. If you hold the brake down, you know, you get the hold icon. But if you push the brake again, if you let go of the brake and then push it again, it actually disables the hold without without using the gas pedal. Okay, so I am um, on an undivided straight street. There we go. And I have no lead car. And it looks like I'm still able to go um, five over. So. That's pretty cool. Um, this is the first time that there's been a decrease in uh, autopilot restrictions um, through over the over the air software. Uh, the current trend, at least for hardware one, has been to uh, limit it to apparently its original intended use, which is bumper to bumper and freeway or highway traffic. Um, so I'm hoping that with you know with Tesla Vision and all that kind of stuff which, um, I mean, my, my car has hardware one, so I don't have the uh, supercomputer in it, but I'm hoping they can improve the camera functionality or, or the software analyzation of um, even hardware one camera images uh, so that um, even autopilot one becomes uh, more useful and smarter um, instead of just becoming more restricted in more and more areas um, but we'll see what happens with that um, yeah I guess that's it